the man in uh, mentioned in lecture eleven, his name is Theodore Dalrymple. Theodore is spelled the way you'd expect. Dalrymple is D A L R Y M P L E, and he wrote a book called Life at the Bottom. And uh, Jordan Peterson interviewed him. It's the best interview I've seen. Theodore uh, Dalrymple does not have a unique insight, but what he does have is a lot of British charm uh, and a lot of experience. Um, you should understand that he's a bit of a wild man himself. He understands wild men. When he was a kid, he liked to travel to dangerous countries. You know, that's kind of wild, right? Uh, but he worked as a psychiatrist in the mornings, uh, and then he worked in. Well, he worked as a psychiatrist in a mental in a mental institution in the morning, and a psychiatrist at a jail in the afternoon. And he just noticed, you know, there's a kind of a pattern here. Uh, most of these guys are don't have a biological father at home. Just as simple as that. If you want to uh, reduce the amount of criminality and rape and violence and looting and murder and all that you, you need to uh, keep the biological unit together whatever your ideals might be just the the brute fact is that and probably very difficult to do now uh, and this is not you know his point isn't uh in debate this is the the best established sociology thing in sociology like by far so he just says it in a more interesting way but we've known this forever um, it sounds like I'm blaming women more than men because um, I think that in a way they are more to blame um, they could they could get an abortion if, if you've had it if you want to have the absolute right to have an abortion, well, maybe we're going to say to you at some point, you know, actually you should really give it some thought early in the pregnancy. Um, just don't choose a guy who has a criminal history. That's the point. You can choose them. You have a choice. You can choose this guy and obey your your biological instinct to go with the most aggressive man or not um yeah it's more women's fault sorry ladies uh okay so i've just got a bunch of notes here i want to mention that you're living in a kind of an electronic gulag already because of cell phones. You've got like a really good portion of the population who thinks it'd be a great idea to go out and capture somebody saying something misogynistic or racist or transphobic or whatever. Uh, put it on social media, quite often anonymously. Screw up the guy's career. Uh, report them uh, to the police. And That, you know, that kills a lot of people. So you've got this, this like sort of a question, are CRT really as bad as fascists and communists? Well, no, they're not as bad, but they are killing people. They're killing a lot of people. You lose your job, your reputation, your money, everything else, and you wind up dead or in jail. You don't think that they're capable of violence? <sighs> cancel culture uh, obviously deplatforming so there's this idea that you know there's some people whose opinions are so vile that they shouldn't be expressed publicly uh, because the assumption there is, is that people are too dumb to think to think for themselves about whether or not what the person is saying is reasonable or not that's the assumption. They're assuming that if you hear something reprehensible, you don't have the, and other people in the public don't have the sense whether to see what they're saying is ridiculous or not. If they're condescending, they're condescending, uh, ill-educated, 
And I want to guess low IQ. Like, they're not coming out of science departments at the university, are they? They're coming out of uh, the humanities, let's call them. The humanities have been dedicated to destroying the marriage and the church for like 50 years. That, that's what they're about. That's what they're good at. They're good at destroying things. Um, oh, here we go. It's a review of what I've said about them so far. Uh, they kneel to terrorists. Okay, so yeah, that's a question. Who are they, right? So there's the extreme ones and, you know, that are real lunatics. And then there's uh, less extreme people who, you know, if you met them, they're nice people. They're probably nice people. Um, and they're ones that kind of go along because, you know, that's what you're expected to do. And people are fed and, you know, it's, everything seems so quiet, right? So I'm not going to say that much. Uh, but a lot of people kneeled to uh, BLM. Sports organizations kneeled all over the place. BLM is a terrorist organization. Give us what we want, we're going to burn down your city. They hurt black people, they hurt everybody. Just to go through that again. Uh, they're into dominance. We did that. Just go through this quickly. Uh, tear down the churches and all that. Ruin the statue. That's about dominance, partly. Uh, they can't take a joke. So I've got, uh, I think I've got three jokes for them today. Uh, what did the residential school survivor say to his girlfriend? What did he say? What he said was, hey, this isn't going to work out if you won't put on the nun's uniform. That's a joke about residential schools, okay? And before you get your panties in a knot, that's a joke I heard from an Indian guy, okay? So is it okay then? Is it okay then? Um, and, you know, I just want to get really, really... Uh, I want to be as offensive as I can possibly be. And I think this is a good one. How many Jews died at Auschwitz? How many Jews died at Auschwitz? Fewer and fewer every decade. The number posted on the outside of Auschwitz is coming down. So people, okay, what does it matter? We just everybody has to remember not to be uh, mean to the Jews, right? So the number doesn't really matter as long as everybody gets the right message. It's the thing. They've got the idea, and this is from the right as well. Yeah, we know the story people should have in their heads and the facts be damned. Uh, mm, they got Trump elected. They're likely to, they could cause a civil war. They're anti-Semitic, which that's a funny one. Universities in Canada have a real problem with anti-Semitism, and it's because of Palestinians and other Muslim people. So, you know, uh, what I just, the joke I just made about the Holocaust makes me anti-Semitic, but I think Jewish people are the most spectacular people that have ever come into being, and I don't think that that's, uh, that's a subject, subjective judgment. They've done more f to, for the intellectual development of humanity than any other race or ethnicity. There's not that many of them. And I don't know uh, why that, if it's even necessary to they, so Doesn't everybody know that? Um, they uh, corrupted the election. 100% positive. I'll do that in the next one. 